Oh, please be number one. Please be number one. Please tell me I didn't waste all that time figuring out what number one was. Please, 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 please. Please don't be number two. Please don't be number two. Yeah! Number one, baby! It wasn't worthless. It wasn't worthless. It wasn't worthless. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! You! Suck my. Uh, that, wait, what? Do I not, do I not just leave? Do I, do I make a phone call? I can't access my door. I got so excited that I, uh, figured that puzzle out that, uh, I can't access my door. Do I, do I go outside? Uh, nothing to interact without here. There's the lost and found sheet. That only goes so far, though. Oh, the dice. I gotta grab the dice. Am I dreaming? That's what awaits me at the end of this vacation. Who was that guy? Ask myself isn't going to help. Or is it? The die and the ruins are connected. I need to decipher this ancient story. What? The die and the ancient story. Okay, said ruins, right? I know there's a page about ruins. The ruins of Marmaleva. Story carved into the ruins, right? The girl who spun the two wheels, you play while carrying flowers, the man who commanded a five crows. Aha, uh -huh. so this is the eight plus six one, because clearly that's what it says, eight plus six. You could look at it as two, well, you don't know how much the girl carrying flowers is, but maybe it's just one girl. But two wheels, one girl, five crows, you could look at it as two and five, but clearly that spells out eight plus six. Clearly, you look at that and see 8 plus 6. Um, obviously, you could be like, oh, hey, read the story, dipshit. It will tell you. I'm not reading all that. Listen, I'll spend 15, 20 minutes trying to figure out a math problem. You want me to read a short story? Get out of here. He said the story of the ruins. Is it 14? Is it 14? Is it 14? Is it 14? Game, I'm gonna need you to tell me if it's 14. Nope. It's, it's one digit. It's one digit. It's one digit. Something about dice. Beyond the okay, in the deepest forest, the vertical stone tie that resembled the tower was a little more than a roughly home basalt. I'm gonna change some model of the populations. Stream parish come to the surface stone festival where the mouth of the crystal used to believe to be part of the key to recover the lost parts from the lost paths. It was time before mankind. What, what's the next page? The ship. Okay. It was time before mankind possessed the tools. A black robed man who commanded five crows arrived and bestowed upon the people knowledge and tools. However, the foolish people who used the gifts gave given them which warped on each other greatly. Except for their actions, the man baked the gods for forgiveness. The gods ordered the daughter of the black robed man to be placed in the tower of gods and spin the two divine wheels found within the two 
wheels were set to spinning. People lay down their weapons and ceased their fighting. Many years passed, and still the people's land lived on in peace. The daughter of the black robe man grew old. One day, a young girl felt sorry for the old woman of the tower and her continuous spinning of the two divine wheels. She flushed the bouquet of flowers to her chest for the gods of and it was truly wise and valiant that even if the divine wheels were stopped turning, there would be no wars. So people thought. Lana saw the girl, and they gathered around her and began to pray in front of the tower. As the sun appeared over the eastern horizon, the man arrived from the seas carrying a box made of metal. The man looked over the praying people with a worthless smile. He then stood in front of that tower. Turned to the left, began circling the tower. His foot falls, makes no sound after circling the monument 24 times. Over the metal box, he started to chant. With that, the tower was transformed into the form of a giant man in a gentle rain fell across the land when the rain fell upon the old woman. It was washed away the years from her form, and she became young once again. The two divine wheels ceased their spinning and faded away. People whom the rain touched lost their knowledge and their tools. After the man within the metal box watched the changes of the day, he vanished to the west with the shining sun. To solve all the problems, the man took everything away, despite the fact that ideal of nothingness he left behind let our ancestors to greatness. What the fuck does that have to do with the dice? What the fuck does that have to do with the dice? I see eight plus six. The girl who spun two wheels. The girl who prayed while carrying flowers. The man who commanded of five crows. I see eight plus six and I see 14. I, I'm guessing when we actually go to the ruins or whatever, that, that's what's gonna happen. It's a single digit. It's a single digit. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Uh-huh. Page 15 tells the story of an ancient civilization. The end of the story says that the man took everything away. He also left an ideal of nothingness to the civilization. These clues mean that the solution is zero. Go fuck yourself. Actually, go fuck yourself. Actually, go fuck yourself. He said nothingness, so the answer is zero. He took everything away and left an ideal of nothingness. The answer, meaning the answer is zero. Actually blow me, you know? Actually gargle on my cock and balls. Fuck you. Fuck off. Okay, you know, I like being teleported to the location I need to be, that is nice, but, um, also, fuck you. I know this place. This vista. And that this rock is actually a grave. A symbol of the earth. A stone head. Lady Reitz is praying. Lady Reitz is sad. Lady Ritz is confused. Lady Ritz is worried. Lady Ritz looked into the past. Lady Ritz is praying again. Lady Ritz has prayed. Lady Ritz has been waiting for you. Okay. First child always looks so sad. Quiet. Gentle. That child vanished into the light. The second child was very sarcastic. It had a beautiful heart. Oh, so quick with those hands. Whoa. The child's mother had it tough. Now her child is doing fine, far away. You'll meet at some point, I'm sure. The third child, I don't, can't recall. The fourth child is very serious. I must tell what recall this is. That child is on the island now. The fifth child was the unfortunate type. I cannot see how that one is doing now. The sixth child? It seems that child has lost their memory. The same for the seventh. I cannot see anything. The eighth child was a little unstable. The child is on the island too. I wonder if things are better now than they were. The ninth child was strong. See, that child looks well. Wearing a lovely uniform. The tenth child. Oh, save that child. The eleventh child. You know all about the eleventh, don't you? Now meet with the other me. Now meet with the other you? Huh? My room? It was a dream? Fuck off. You know? Just fuck off. I'm still pissed after the... Oh, the answer was zero all along because they returned to nothingness. 
what, aren't you clever? You couldn't figure that self out, you big stupid fuck. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. You and your convoluted bullshit. Back yet? You take my fucking tickets yet? Oh no, it's still Sue. Alright, Sue. Can you take my fucking tickets? Sue, so I've got an owner's ticket here. Yeah, just give me my shit. Say hi to Edo for me. Or don't. That's always possible. Get back here, Sue. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Mondo. Sue, how's Ando doing? Sue, there's something I have to ask you. About that night. The only night I've had since I've been here. Ando has been really odd since then, too. What's happening to you two? Mr. Mondo, she is waiting for you in one of the cottages. Cottages? Lady Ritz has awoken. She said, the other me. You are at fault for wanting to know the truth of these mysteries. That's why Lady Ritz has woken. Sue, just who are you? I am the medium of this island. The medium? It was my role to inform you. Inform me of what? Please meet with Lady Ritz. You can get to the cottages through the back of the restaurant. Now go and see her. Right, the back of the restaurant. Right. That for here. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something special in the restaurant? Okay. Slide check. Never know. Oh. 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 Nah, something lit up. Aha! Found you. The question is, are you two or three? Because I know three, the answer is 50. Two, I have a vague guess of what the answer may or may not be. It's two. Fuck. Okay, so it's either one or three. I'm gonna go ahead and guess three. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Give me the fucking ticket. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I guess the cottages out this way. Which way to the cottages? I don't like the way I pronounce that. Is it through this very ugly fence? Sure isn't. Good, I don't want to look at it. What about this incredibly ugly fence over here? Is it this way? It sure is. <laughs> Oh ho! Item has been located. Damn, this might be one of the first times I've actually found all three fucking items. And I actually knew what all three answers were, too. Nah, I saw a little. Yeah, it's a little something pop up. It's just this random post? Okay. Yeah, anyway, the answer is 50.
What's in this cottage? Oh, this is where I'm actually supposed to go. Well, now I don't have to scan everywhere because I know I found everything. So that's kind of cool. Hello, Lady Ritz. How can I help you, man? Oh, hello. Oh, you're the nurse. We have been waiting for you, Mr. Mondo. We met at the gravesite, right? You have seen the ruins too, haven't you, Mr. Mondo? Yeah, I saw you and the old lady there too. You met us? I don't know what you mean, I'm sure. But every day around this time, we take a walk up to the ruins. Lady Ritz does so love the ruins. I see. Today is a special day. Mr. Mondo, I will impart Lady Ritz's words to you. So please listen as though this were Lady Ritz speaking. Are you ready? Already. Today is a special day. A very important day for many people now gathered on this island. Therefore, a lot of things will happen. Some things you cannot even believe are going to happen. You are able to talk with me here because of what today is. Wednesday. This is a mysterious place. And as though something out of this world is lurking here, breathing softly. The legend of the graveyard. Is that what you mean? I have a request. Please, do what Lady Ritz asks of you. If I can. It is said that water contains the basic elemental power of life. Lady Ritz loves the water. Please search out Lady Ritz. She said she wants to meet you again, Mr. Mondo. Okay. Now let me tell you something very important. This one is a present for me. The man who once saved this island did so by circling the ruins clockwise while chanting a spell. Clockwise, okay. A spell? It's a legend passed down on this island. Tradition, mystery, and time create the most beautiful decorations. What does that mean? Circling around the ruins is very important. Clockwise, right? I'll remember. I shall pray that you meet Le Lady Ritz, Mr. Mundo. Oh? Oh. So you want me to go back to the ruins? I know in the story he circled the pillar like what, 24 times? What? Mm. I'm gonna go talk to Sue. I'm gonna go talk to Sue. And see what Miss Zding has to say about all this. <laughs> also, I gotta cash in some tickets, too. Ding. Got some more tickets. <laughs> Extra costume six. Cool. If only I could actually use that, you know? Oh, I can't actually talk with Sue. Fuck. Um, where do I go then? Uh-huh. Go outside to the pool between the cottage. Oh, shit. between the cottages that has a pillar 
that I'm supposed to run around until a slate appears. And that's where I enter my 8 plus 6. Okay. Okay. Apparently, I should not have left the cottages. See, I thought I was supposed to go back to the ruins, right? It's a good thing I fucking checked the guide or I would end up walking all the way the fuck up elsewhere. But the pool's full. Oh, Lady Ritz loves the water. Right. This bitch is just chilling in a pool on her wheelchair. Are you coming? To the new world. Follow behind me. Undo. Perform the release. What? Wait, you want me to perform some release? The advent of the standing stone decoding saint. Wash clean this island. Ah. God damn it. And controls like shit. Why can't I just hold left? I'm just saying, that'd be so much easier. You know, occasionally I have to press up. I do this 24 times. No, god damn it. This thing didn't control like dog ass. Where I constantly have to keep stopping and readjusting myself. I can't just hold down a button. As they, you might think, oh wow, this is just easy. Why is he complaining? Because it's not just as easy as holding down a button. The magic slate. Going clockwise, don't you dare go counterclockwise and make it disappear. The secret of the images on the ruins. I wonder what it could be. Anyway, jack it in, jack it in. Nope. Nope. Fourteen, baby. What do you loot? Oh, whoa, I thought that man had a giant penis. I'm not gonna lie, I was totally waiting for like the plane to start rising up in the sky and then Jopa. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I was right. I was right. I fucking called it. <laughs> Just bah, popped that motherfucker out of the sky. Welcome back. Do you understand now? The secret of this island? You've been controlled by fate. The screws are starting to come loose. Just a little more. When Lady Ritz awakens, the nightmare will come again. They won't overlook her revival. I cannot protect her. Please protect Lady Ritz until we meet again. Ah, okay. Kill the past. Hey, now that's a phrase I understand, baby. Are, are you just like staring at me as I sleep or something? Yep. 
Good morning, Mr. Mundo. Today is a special day. Get up and get ready. I can't wake up without my phone call. Never mind, yes I can. Sue, please, this morning. Give me a minute. I will wait until you've finished your copy then. In a big hurry anyway. You have realized the truth, haven't you? What truth? About what is happening on this island? Yeah, pretty much. The manager has vanished. Don't you find that odd? You really are slow. Am I, Sue? I think you're the slow ones. Simply accepting an apparent occurrences within reality at face value? That's a very dangerous thing for people to do. Events are often multi-layered, complex. That's one thing that my job has taught me. The things people say and the things they do, those are only a part of the truth. You're too accepting, too, you're accepting too much, too readily. Overthinking everything. Well then, Mr. Mondo, from everything you have experienced so far, how would you explain all this? Does it have to be explained? I don't believe it does. The truth is far more simple, pure, closer at hand. This could all be, perhaps, arranged at the individual convenience of a single person. A single person? Who might that be? Someone who is waiting for me. That doesn't really matter. Time will teach me the answer. So I'm heading for the goal. I'm almost there, aren't I? Yes, you are drawing clothes. Sue, your identity. Well, that sounds a bit odd. I mean, what you think, the position you're in. I don't really care about all that anymore. I live through my work. I live through searching for people's lost items. Focusing on my work is very important to me. Edo hired me for a job. That's the simple reason why I'm here. So I'm going to the airport, because that is my job. It's the single, only source of my existence. So, had enough of my lecturing? Yes, it's all such one-sided, pointless rhetoric. Though that's how the young should think, I suppose. Well, I may be overly kind, that's just in my nature. Defiant, aren't you? As you get older, you learn to control things through logic. That's what getting old means. I want to end up like that. Yeah, you'd be better off if you can avoid it. You mean I should defend myself? That's the principle. The cogs don't perfectly mesh. Huh? You'll understand one day, Sue. You're just putting me off, aren't you? Aren't you a tough one? Yes, that's just my nature. Well then, I'm heading to the airport. There's someone I want you to see first, Mr. Mondo. Who? Not Stephen. Please don't say Stephen. Mr. Chardboner is not staying here anymore, actually. So who? Go to room 301. The future will open for you. Your hint is... Turtle. <gasps> Morishima! Well then. Please tell me it's my boy. Please tell me it's my boy. Please tell me it's my boy. What's on the lost and found list? One. Caller. What is the shortest number of routes a dog must travel to reach his master? What? What does that puzzle even mean? Would it not just be one, two, well, let me one, two, three, turn, one turn, two turns, and you're there, if you just go down. Would it not be three? I don't, I don't know. It looks like it'd be, or, Two or three? It's like one, two, and three, or maybe it's one, two. It's either two or three. Either go. It's two or three. I don't know what's all. I don't. I don't entirely understand what this diagram is showing me, but I'm pretty sure it's either two or three. Twelve-sided column put it. A twelve-sided column pudding has a diagonal length of ten centimeters and three centimeters thick. What is its volume? Like hell if I don't. I know, I don't know. Listen, geometry was not my strong suit, all right? You want me to solve formulas and shit, algebraic equations and all that shit? Sure, throw it at me. Geometry, fuck off. 
champion belt. If 12 is 3 plus 4 plus 5, what is 30? Hint is right angle triangle. Once again, you're throwing fucking... You're throwing fucking... Geometry at me. Okay, so it's... They're talking about like a perfect right triangle, right? It's all about the Pythag, Pythag pers 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 perspiration, baby. It's all about the uh, fucking Pythagoras theorem, right? Because three, because five would be your hypotenuse. So it'd be three squared plus four squared equals five squared, which is true. Nine plus sixteen does equal twenty-five. <coughs> So I'd have to find another way of doing that. So I'm guessing they also want consecutive numbers. Well, four, five, six would be 15, which isn't high enough. Five, six, seven would be 18. So it keeps going up by three. Uh, what's 10, 11, 12? That's too high. Um, eight, seven, nine would be 25. No, it would be 24. 9, 10, 11? Yeah, 9, 10, 11. That's what it would be, 9, 10, 11. 9 plus 10 plus 11. Would that work? But that wouldn't work for the Pythagoras thing, would it? Because just consecutive numbers, yeah, that that works. But maybe it's not a Pythagoras thing, and I'm just... Well, no, it says right angle triangle. Would 9, 10, 11 work? 81... No. 81 plus 100 does not equal... That. Uh, 121. So I need a combination of three numbers that adds up to 30, but is also a right, uh, fits the Pythagoras theorem. Let me, let me just Google this real quick. Isn't it perfect right triangle what I'm looking for? 5, 12, 13, okay. Now, is that cheating? Yeah, fuck you. 5, 12, 13. 12 plus 13 is 25, plus 5 makes 30. 25 plus 144 equals 169. 5, 12, 30. But 30, 13. I, I don't know the other two. I genuinely do not know the other two. I'm not even going to worry about the other two, all right? Not even going to worry about the other two. 5, 12, 13, though. I'm going to worry about that. If I find number three, oh, baby. It's gonna be 5, 12, 13. The other two, blow me, I don't care. Okay, it's not in the room, cool. Three oh one, I have to go to room three oh one. I I had honestly forgotten for a moment. For a split second, I was like, oh, so I'm going all the way to the desk again. Where are we going from here? It's like, wait, wait, no, no. She specifically said go to 301. She was very specific about that. She was like, oh, Mr. Dips shit. Go to 301. 304? 302? 301. My hint is turtle, which, that's a pretty kick-ass hint, I'm not going to lie. Damn, what a setup. It's a tape machine. What room is this? That's the mystery here. The hint. Turtle. Yeah, I'm sure I saw a photo of a turtle somewhere. Cypher the turtle. I have to find a picture of a turtle? Okay, so 
I know the page where Morishima's at. Uh, is like way at the bottom. And maybe that's not even what I'm supposed to be looking for. But there, there's one like from the page of Turtle Taro or whatever. It's like towards the end. Yeah, it's like this one. Yeah. Serial Los Pes Diary written by Taro Turtle. I don't think there's any numbers written on it though. P.S. I'll be waiting to meet you. Yeah, uh huh. I don't think there's anything about numbers here. Other than 1999. Now is the journal. Okay, 1999, 12th month, 31st day. Is it 1999, 1231? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. Oh, it is none of those. It's not 1999. It's not 12, it's not 31, it's not a combination of any of those. Okay. So I actually have to look for a picture of a turtle. Okay. Oh, there's a picture of a turtle. The Lost Pass Large Ocean Turtle is on the brink of extinction, so seeing one nowadays is a rare thing. Measuring this one revealed it to be an impressive 128 centimeters. 128? Is it 128? Final answer. Yeah! Long Turtle. Oh, yes, my boy. Oh, God. A lucky island awaits you. A lucky island awaits you. Ride on the boat and go to Electronic Island. Thank you, game. I get it. Whose voice is that? That's the goat's voice, all right? Lucky Island again, is it? Today is a special day, Mr. Mondo. Lady Ritz has something very important to tell you. Will you please come to our cottage? That old lady again? You will come with me, even if I have to knock you out. Ma'am, I will come with you, regardless. Okay, okay. Take the boxing, Take the boxing gloves off. She is waiting for you. Please hurry. What about you? I'll be here. Why? I need to take care of her. Pretty busy, aren't you? But just who are you? Why, I'm a nurse. That's not what I meant. It isn't? You're not just a regular nurse, are you? That old lady is no naturally occurring phenomenon. You work for her, so I doubt you're naturally occurring either. I'm a nurse. Nothing more. Would you like me to nurse you, perhaps? Yeah, nurse these nuts. I'd love that. I wouldn't. Now please go to the cottage. Fuck yes, nurse me, mommy. I mean, what? Okay, but he said a lecky island waits for me, right? So I kind of want to go to a lecky island because that's where my boy's at. My fucking guy. My dude. Like, yeah, she's saying, oh, go to the cottage. I don't want to go to the cottage. Lady Ritz isn't the homie. Lady Ritz isn't my fucking boy, right? Lady Ritz can smoke a fat one. I want to go hang out with my guy. But now I have to go to the cottages.
Oh, something at the table here. This is it number three? Five, twelve, thirteen. Two. Uh, I don't know. I, I changed my mind. I don't care. Yeah, you, you can keep that one. I don't even want to bother to look up the answer. I don't care. I just want to make story progress, man. I'll, I'll waste time trying to figure something out if it's something I know I can figure out. But, like, I'm not going to look up how to find the volume of a cylinder but with its diagonal and radius and all that shit. No. No. I don't care. Well, then, that would come down to triangles again, wouldn't it? Because you would find the height of the cylinder by solving for, yeah, that is what it would be, wouldn't it? Because you, if you have the radius, you could then find the diameter, and then the diagonal would essentially be the hypotenuse to your triangle. So you would find the length that way, and then it'd be, what is it? Cir circumference? No, uh, area of a circle times Right? Area times height? Or is it circumference times height? Hmm. Good question. I, I don't remember my exact... I think it would be area. I think area times height is how you find the volume of a cylinder. I think circumference times height would just be the, uh... Surface area. Thanks to you, I am here and able to talk with you. Hold on. It's when we met before. That wasn't a dream. Everything that happens could be called a dream. But the most important thing is just whose dream this all is. Once you know whose dream this is, you'll be able to tackle the problem. I'm guessing it's my boy Morishima, then. He seems to be the end goal of this whole story. Whose dream is it, then? Isn't that what you're here to find out? I'm here to open the gate. And I will teach you how. But first, you must come to understand exactly what it means to open that door. Which is... You've heard about the legend of this island, haven't you? Yeah, I'm your nurse, too. That legend is half fiction, half truth. I know this because I was alive at the time of the legend. At the time of the legend? It was long, long ago. Back then, I belonged to a small ethnic group. We were herders, ranchers, and we raised very special animals. Those animals were cursed. Because of those animals, we were attacked by other tribes. And that became our way of life. And he appeared. He? He who? The man who attacked us. He attacked us long, long ago. He took possession of our cursed animals. When that happened, God entered his eye. And now the son of the man is here on this island. We'll meet his son before long. What kind of man is he, the best? You'll know him when you meet him. One of his eyes is silver. A man called Kamui? That name is part of the man, true. Though the through the ability, that power to reanimate life, it is possible to obtain anything, even immortality. In other words, he is a god. Sounds like a ridiculous fantasy to me. This is why so many bizarre things are now happening here. This is all the dream of the man with the silver eye then? Perhaps. And will I meet him when I solve the dream? You will. And this man knows the secret of the island. He does. So how do I open the gate? Use the key, dumbass. <laughs> Thank you. 
Another man will open the gate. You need only move forward to a lucky island. You will bring order to the chaos in this land. That's a big role. That is your fate. I wish someone had warned me about all this in advance. It is predetermined. That's not true. If you're not heading into senil senile... Senility? Is that how you pronounce that? I know it's like senile, but itty... Senility? Whatever. Fate is just what other people want you to do. It means nothing to me. Am I wrong? However you choose to accept this is up to you. Think whatever you like. I will. Then go, Sumi Armando. You'll be alone from now on. Do everything alone. I've always been alone. Weird bitch.